and girls, happy Sunday. I hope you're all doing very well and that you had a lovely, lovely week. Well, boys and girls, last week we spoke about the kingdom of heaven. And today we continue to speak about the kingdom of heaven. And we learn how incredibly special and precious it is. Let's close our eyes in prayer, boys and girls, before we get, begin this lesson today. Lord Jesus, please calm our minds. Please help us not to have any distractions as we come and listen to your word and the lesson you have for us today. We ask you that it will help us and that it will change our lives for the better and for the glory of Jesus' name. In his name we pray. Amen. Well, boys and girls, last week we learned about the kingdom of heaven that can be like a mustard seed and also the kingdom of heaven that can be like yeast. And today we learn about the kingdom of heaven that is really a treasure. And of course, we read this from the Bible, which is also a very, very precious book. It's the most important book to us who are Christians, who are believers. It is the way God speaks to us. It is God's word. Boys and girls, and we're going to read from first from the book of Matthew, Matthew 13, verses 44 to 46. Matthew chapter 13, verse 44 to 46. And this comes from the New International Reader's Version. The kingdom of heaven is like treasure that was hidden in a field. When a man found it, he hid it again. He was very happy. So he went and sold everything he had and he bought that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a trader was looking for fine pearls. He found one that was very valuable. So he went away and sold everything he had and he bought that pearl. Now boys and girls, what do you think is Jesus trying what do you think Jesus is trying to tell us about the kingdom of heaven by making a comparison? Um, to a treasure or to find pearls. Well, boys and girls, it means that the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of Jesus, is extremely valuable. And we should see it as extremely valuable to us. Okay? We can see here that the man who um, found the treasure, he was very happy to find it and he sold everything he had he wasn't like okay and now I have to sold everything I have like he was obliged to do that no he was extremely happy so happy that he sold everything he had just to get that field same with finding these amazing pearls that he knew was so valuable that he went away and he sold everything he had so that he could have that pearl. Boys and girls, we need to think about the kingdom of heaven like that and to make it even more specific, the gospel. The gospel is so precious and so amazing that we need to be willing to give up everything in our lives for the sake of of the gospel for the sake of God's word. Now let's try to remember what the gospel is again, boys and girls, because it's such an important thing to remember. The gospel, boys and girls, is that God sent his only son, Jesus Christ, in the likeness of man to die for the sins of his people on the cross, but also to take on the terrible wrath of God Okay, and this wrath of God is anger, yes, but it's not anger like we have where we throw tantrums and it's all sinful. This anger is good and real and right anger. God is right to be angry with us because 
of our sinful behavior. And yet on the cross, Jesus took on the anger and the wrath of God that was supposed to be ours. And because of this, boys and girls, we can be part of God's family. We can be part of God's kingdom, of this heavenly kingdom, because of what Jesus has done for us. And we also don't need to fear death. One day, when we die, we will be with Jesus in this heavenly, amazing kingdom where there are no coronaviruses, where there are no wars going on, where there are no floods, no extreme, scary thunderstorms that wreaks havoc. We will be in complete harmony and complete love and peace with Jesus Christ. So boys and girls, this is the amazing and precious and valuable gospel of Jesus Christ. And boys and girls, this should be able to give us confidence. Okay, I'm going to read another passage for you that also comes from the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 6, verse 25, and then verses 33 to 34. Matthew chapter 6, verse 25, and then verses 33 to 34. And this is actually also about the kingdom of heaven. I tell you, do not worry. Don't worry about your life and what you will eat or drink. And don't worry about your body and what you will wear. Isn't there more to life than eating? Aren't there more important things for the body than clothes? But put God's kingdom first. Do what he wants you to do. Then all those things will also be given to you. So don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. So... Boys and girls, Jesus says that we need to put God's kingdom first. We need to say that it is the most precious and valuable thing for us. And when we seek God's kingdom first, we find our joy, our happiness, our completeness, our peace in Jesus and in him alone. Not, about, not in things like clothes or fancy toys, perhaps, boys and girls, or fancy food or chocolate. No, we find our joy in Jesus and his kingdom and in his word, in his Bible. If we are afraid, we go to the word. If we are sad, we go to the word. If we are worried about something, we go to the word. We seek God's kingdom first. Boys and girls, that's very, very, very important. And that's our lesson for today. I'm going to pray now that God would help us to put this into practice in our, in, in our daily lives. Let's close our eyes, boys and girls. Lord Jesus, we thank you so much that you have saved us through your amazing gospel, through your son coming down to save us, to die in our place. Lord Jesus, please let this give us assurance and peace that we know we don't need to worry about anything in this life at all because you have taken care of our biggest need already. Lord Jesus, with this fact, please help us to seek your kingdom first. Please help us to put your kingdom first whenever we are afraid or sad or worried or concerned. Help us to turn to your word, to turn to your Bible, to find our joy and our comfort and our peace and our completeness. Help us not to turn to the things of this world that will never satisfy us. We ask all of this in the precious name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Well, that's our lesson for today, boys and girls. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Bye-bye.